Hey everybody and welcome to Adventures with Peps. I was looking through my pile of to be painted and I realized I haven't done a Judge Dredd figure in forever. So I grabbed this street judge who was already primed and we are going to paint him today. We're going to start off with a quick dry brushing of some white scar just to start picking out some details because we're obviously going to be using the army speed paints. So this street judge is going to be Judge Prince. He uh, is one of my oldest characters actually. I've used that name for quite a while because I used to be known as the Fallen Princes back in the early 2000s when I had a little blog going. It's mostly Eldari, but um, yeah, I used to call my judge characters Judge Prince. I used to draw Judge Dredd, um, painted like old GW figures and all that stuff, played and read through the old RPGs and my judge back then was always known as Judge Prince. So that's who this guy's going to be. So as you can see, I've got the dry brush down. It's very rough. It's very rough and ready, but it's going to be enough to help the contrast paints flow. So we're going to kick things off with the High Lord Blue. I'm going to use this for his bodysuit. It's the classic blue. Um, I think I've mentioned this many times now. I'm saving the black bodysuits for the SJS and any street judges or other departments like side judges, tech judges are always going to be in a dark blue. This is my artistic choice. Um, I know Carlos used to always do them in black uniforms. Other people have done them in blue. I genuinely prefer the blue. I really like how it looks. I also like the fact that the SJS are a darker branch of the Justice Department, so them being blue and golds and yellows and all that sort of stuff makes them seem brighter, police-like, whereas the SJS with the silvers and blacks look darker, more menacing, the way they should be. So, as you can see, I'm slapping on the blue. It's not super exciting, I've got to be honest with you. This is what, probably the 20th judge I've painted on the channel. I do enjoy painting my judges. So we might end up skipping forward a little bit so you don't have to watch the whole process. But yeah, this is going to be a street judge. Judge Prince, he's your run of the mill beat cop or beat judge, I guess. So I'm going to give him average stats in RPG world, which you will find over on the community pages. And probably if I use him in uh, the Warlord games, he would just have your average street judge stats. He's probably gonna we'll go mid 30s if for his age he's not a fresh recruit but he's also not a grizzled veteran yet this is a strange model because he's actually running into i guess a crowd or something because he's got his respirator down so we can only assume there's gas on the ground or in the air maybe he's thrown a stun grenade and the smoke is billowing out and he's about to charge in and take down the perp. It's very interesting pose. The helmet looks strange because the respirator's down. Uh, it's very rare that you see them in that pose. So quite enjoyed that. With the blue done, I decided that I wanted my yellows to look brighter. So I grabbed the white paint again and I'm just going to start going around all the areas that I want to be brighter. So anything that's yellow is definitely getting hit of this. And then of course the areas that are going to be red on his helmet, I'm giving this as well. It's going to help those colors really pop when I put them down. So this extra little step, it's time consuming. It's a little annoying, especially when the blue floods into the white because I didn't let it dry properly. Um, but the end results are going to give us a brighter color at the end. Now, to give the blue chance to dry even more and that white to start setting, I grab the grim black. And in a rare turn of events, I'm using black on the guns. Normally I use the Grave Lord Grey, because I feel that's dark enough. But today I just wanted to mix it up. I wanted to see what it looked like. So we're going to use this on his Lawgiver and on his helmet to give him the classic black look. Comes out pretty well. I'm pretty damn happy with it at the end of the day probably went a bit too heavy 
but luckily there's not much around it apart from the glove, so it will have plenty of time to dry. I'm not going to worry about that too much. This model, when we get to the glamour shots, will have dry, been drying for about 24 hours before I take that photo. So the end results you see during this video are going to be quite wet. So don't judge me too harshly on the looks, please. Right, the blue's drying. The black is pretty much done now. The white is drying up quite nicely. He's looking pretty damn cool. It's quite a cool model. Now we just have to work on the next color, which is going to be the green. So I grab the orc skin. It's a beautiful shade of green. It's probably my favorite color. It's very cartoonish green. I would not use it on an orc, but on Mega City One Judges, it is the perfect green in my opinion. I can see when I go back to do the highlight in, in a future, <laughs> future me that has most of these painted, I'm going to use a nice light green and just dry brush it over. It's going to be super easy, super quick to do, and it's going to give me the perfect result. But for now, we're just going to slap this orc skin down. So we're going to hit up his knee, uh, yeah, his knees, his boots, his belt patch, pouches, and the gloves. We will just quickly work our way around all of that. All right, with the green done, we now need to work out where we're going to go next. I think I want to make sure the greens had plenty of time to dry and the blues had plenty of time to dry. So while I'm finishing up the glove, I think we'll hit up the red next. It's a nice, quick, easy step. I'm going to use blood red because it's nice and bright and with that white undercoat it's going to absolutely pop. It's a nice quick step as well because to be fair there's not much red on the model. Looking back I should have done a little stripe inside his lawgiver but I completely forgot at the time so we'll just ignore that if you please. Yep there you go just get a nice point on the brush and I'm going to Carefully follow the white line. Ultimately, the helmet is black, so if I mess up, it's only going to go into the black and be hidden completely. What I do want to do is avoid the blue that I have got in the visor. Because if I put red in there, that's not going to get fixed easily. It's going to be super annoying. So I'm just going to be patient. The nice thing with these contrast paints is if you don't have a lot on your brush, very easy to control and so with that color down there's only really one left and that is the zealot yellow i'm going to use that on his eagle shoulder pad as you can now see the other nondescript shoulder pad his respirator mask the chain and the badge on his front and then there's going to be a little stripe of yellow on his belt buckle and that's pretty much it for this model. It's super easy. Judges are super easy and quick to paint with speed paints. And you get a nice result at the end. We'll do a little uh, rotating glamour shot so you can see the final results. But otherwise, as always, I appreciate you stopping by. Make sure you check out the community tab where I put the RPG characters. If you're feeling adventurous, come over to the blog, which is at www.adventureswithpeps.com. And make sure you hit like, subscribe and all that good stuff. If you're feeling uh, extra cheeky, make sure you drop a police car image in the chat with a comment. And I'll make sure I pin it to the top and say hi to you. And until next time, I hope you enjoyed and enjoy these final images. Bye bye.